The key to treating lung cancer is early detection. Often this cancer is detected when the disease has progressed beyond effective treatment. We spoke with Dr. James Wu of Methodist Hospital in Arcadia, California, who explains the symptoms and how advancements in surgery are extending lives. Unfortunately, lung cancer doesn't typically present in its early stage um, in terms of the symptoms. Um, the symptoms in the later advanced stages of lung cancer are very nonspecific and this may include a cough just won't go away, um, coughing up a little bit of uh, blood, sometimes wheezing, uh, hoarseness, or bone pain or a bad headache. Dr. Wu tells us the risk factors. Cigarette smoking by far is the um, greatest risk factor for lung cancer. Also, secondhand smoking is also a considerable risk factor. There are um, other environmental hazards, including asbestos and radon gas, that can also contribute to the development of lung cancer. And of course, um, if you have a family history, um, that is also a risk factor. Dr. Wu told us about the treatments available. The treatment for lung cancer basically involves uh, surgery, chemotherapy, radiation treatment, or the combination of the above. In terms of the surgical management of lung cancer, the surgeon typically performs surgery by removing the cancer with a rim of normal tissue. This can be done in a variety of ways. First of all, you can do what we call a wedge resection uh, or a segmental resection by which you take out the tumor with a rim of normal tissue. Another uh, way of doing so is to remove the entire lobe um, of the lung. Uh, and then lastly, um, an operation called a pneumonectomy uh, involves removing the entire, either the left or the right lung. According to Dr. Wu, the trend is now to perform minimally invasive surgery. As surgeon gets more experience um, in performing um, lung cancer surgery, um, there is a trend uh, moving towards minimally invasive approaches. And one of these approaches um, is called video-assisted thoracoscopic surgery. Um, this is an operation by which a surgeon performs small incisions and through these incisions, uh, he or she puts a video camera into the chest along with troll cars, the working instruments. And then by watching on a TV monitor, the surgeon performs the surgery um, you know, that way. The advantages of minimum invasive approaches um, usually uh, involves less postoperative pain, uh, the incisions are smaller, and patient goes home sooner. Early lung cancer, if detected early, uh, is curable by surgery. There's a saying in our profession, once a cancer patient, you're always a cancer patient. Even though that you might be quote unquote cured from lung cancer, you would have to, have to go undergo surveillance for the rest of your life, um, either with an oncologist, with your surgeon, or with your primary care physician. And this involves yearly checkup, uh, CAT scans, uh, x-rays. Dr. Wu tells us a patient's story. Well, there was a one patient I've treated. Um, she's actually fairly young, in her 50s, and by a lung function um, uh, testing criteria, she uh, was actually not a candidate for lung cancer surgery. Because of her motivation, um, she has indicated to me that uh, not only she will quit smoking on the spot, she will get on the treadmill and improve her lung function. Um, we have try that for about four weeks and I've seen a, a dramatic improvement in her lung function to a point that I think taking a risk to do the operation um, might benefit this patient uh, and we did. Uh, we uh, went forward with surgery and did the lobectomy uh, and the nodal dissection um, and she actually tolerated the surgery very well and, um, and she's about three years out disease free.